This is how you get every rare villager in LEGO Fortnite. This is a new project that I'm working on in my current village before the next update. So I figured this is a really good time for you guys to learn how to do all of this as well. First things first, you just wanna go ahead and break every single bed that's in your village when it comes to the villagers. Now, this is really just step one of getting rid of these guys because even though you destroy all of their beds and you destroy any other beds that are in the village, which you do have to do because they will automatically assign themselves they will still keep a spot in your village at the start so there is a trick to actually really push them away from your village now given time after you've broken their beds you'll see this indicator over top of their head that is on a bed and they'll tell you that they're thinking about leaving your village now what i recommend doing is sticking around in this video as i'll tell you every single character that is considered rare or epic in this game that that way you know which villagers you should be getting rid of and which ones you should keep. By breaking every single one of my beds, I was actually able to get rid of all five of my villagers. And now we're gonna build back to go ahead and make sure that I get every single one of these villagers back, but more rare or epic tiered in this game. Because it is actually important to get rare players as they are capable of doing things just a little bit better than others. Now there's two ways to get rare villagers or just villagers in general and that is number one just to wait around your village as you'll see that they will randomly walk up to your village and you'll be able to talk to them and ask them to stay as long as you have a bed in place the other way is to travel around and you could find them in the wild under huts or random areas that way you can then ask them to follow you or go to your village now this is a lot on screen right now but let me go ahead and help every single one of you guys understand what this is on the left side is everybody that you can get rid of when it comes to your villages outside of Yeti who was falsely put in the uncommon slot. On the right side is everybody that is rare and then the farthest right is epic tiered villagers in the game. So anybody that is on the left side, you can essentially tell them to kick rocks and get out of your village and then focus on getting some of the guys in the rare or category on the far right. Now, all of these players do come with specific abilities that they're better at doing. So i give you guys an example. Meowskulls is very good as a combat companion or collecting gems, which means that Meowskulls is either going to deal more damage or have more health with them just rumored. Now, when it comes to players like Beef Boss, he's better at cooking or Tomato Head is better at cooking. So in one day, they're going to give you more food than somebody such as Slush, who isn't as good at cooking. So you want to have these players specifically on tasks that they're actually good at, which is why every single one of my players is actually working on something specific to them. That way I have a turnaround time of one day and they're giving me just about max material on everything that they're working on. This is super off topic, but while I was waiting for villagers to come visit my village, did you guys ever notice that poop actually has this random sparkle effect? I know this is super random, but I never saw that this was in the game before. And now I know that poop actually glows in this game. So once you're done waiting around and you actually do have a rare or epic villager come and visit you, all that you need to do is go and talk to them just a few times and they'll actually actually offer to come and lay at your village. Now, as long as you have five beds set up, you guys will be able to keep them at your base permanently or until you decide to remove them and then ask them to do jobs that they're good at. So Tabby is very good when it comes to gem cutting. So what I wanted to do was assign her to gem cutting. That way I get the max value out of having this rare villager at my base. Now I have bounced around between different villages here in this video, but that's just to show you guys that you could collect rare and epic villagers in every single base. Inside of my snow biome, I only have Yeti. But what I was able to do is find Slab and he's able to work on stuff for me again as long as I have some beds set up. So inside of my snow biome village, inside of my dry biome and my grasslands, I just wanna make sure that I have a level 10 base and I have five beds placed for every single villager I can have. You could have a max of 15 total in your world, but you could have five in each of your biomes. You could even have 
10 in your biomes. I had two Desert Valley bi uh, biomes that I had multiple people that were working there. So you guys can go ahead and set up five in each, 10 in one, five in another, and zero in one. You guys could just have them all over the place, helping out every single one of your villages. And once again, giving them specific jobs that is going to help out your village in any way, shape, or form. If they're very good as a companion, you can keep them as a companion and just have them like that. Although I recommend having these players working on specific jobs that they're actually very good at. That way, once again, you're getting the best possible value out of them. And while it may seem that it takes a long time to get rare or epic i actually had mozzie come through my dry biome and then also my snow biome just in the same exact day i tried to get her inside of my dry valley but i unfortunately had all five villagers and couldn't get rid of one fast enough for her but she's considered an epic tiered villager which is the best that you could have in this game and i actually was able to get her to come through my snow biome village and get her to stay there to work on my stuff there which is extremely nice because now inside of this biome i have more than one rare or epic villager i now have three of them in this location specifically working on really nice things for me so there's really nothing better than having epic or rare villagers that are working on their specific specific abilities in the game, getting you stuff again in one day so you can bounce between biomes go to your villages and then collect all of the resources your villagers worked on for you. Now, I once again want to talk about every single one of the players. That way you guys could see exactly what I was looking at online. And I'm actually going to put this link down in the description for every single one of you guys to check out as well. So when it comes to a lot of these players like Polar Peely, Frozen Fish Stick, and somebody that I just found now being Mozzie or Maisie, these are some of the most rare and epic villagers that you guys can have in the game. They also will tell you directly on the website where you can find them. So I know that inside of the Dry Valley, I can find Calamity, Rustler, and Mozzie in those biomes. However, I know that Mozzie just showed up in my winter biome. So some of the locations may just be wrong, unless of course, these are just the locations to actually find these out in the wild because I know that frozen fish stick or frozen fish stick needs to be found inside of the snow biome and same exact thing when it comes to polar peely. So when finding these, this is likely where you could go out of your way to find them just roaming around on their own. However, you can also have them just pop up and show up to your villages and give you their special skills. So tomato head with cooking, Carl Reef with gathering resources and collecting gems, Blackheart as a combat companion or gathering resources, all of them have their own special thing. The nice thing about the epic and rare ones is typically they're very good at more than one item where you guys can see when we scroll up towards the regular or the uncommon and common outside of Petra, all of these are really only good at one or the other. They're not very good at doing multiple things, which is why they're not the best of companions or the best of villagers to have inside of your bases. So check out this website and take a look at your guys' villagers. That way you guys could see exactly which ones that you think you should be getting rid of or which ones that you guys should keep inside of your village. Because unless you have a theme to your village, like a farming theme or a dinosaur theme, a lot of these, it's really not worth keeping at your village. Now, I mentioned that you guys can find these out in the wild. I think one of the best ways to do this is just to travel on an aircraft, even if it's a small one, just like what I have, which only took a dynamic foundation, some balloons, some thrusters, and then placing ahead those stairs on either side just to get my thing to turn. But you guys can find these villagers along the way simply by riding this around and then just looking down at the ground. You could also find them by going ahead and grappling around and looking in different from biomes. So not all of them will just walk to your village. Some of these do need to be found while you guys are actually running around and experiencing the game. So if there's anybody that you don't have yet, but you do want, remember you guys can search around and potentially find them at other areas of the map. However, 
most of them will just walk through your village and having an empty slot available just in case they come through and keeping your eye out is always one of the best things to do. My recommendation is to have an open slot and then just start working on small crafty stuff at your village like building it up, setting up a essence room or you know a room specifically for working on materials like metals and things like that and just try to get more organized and then hope that some of these players just start to walk through your area and decide to keep them while they're with you. I'm gonna continue to try to get the most rare players in every single village. That way I view best possible villages in the game. So I hope that you guys are gonna try to do the exact same thing. Let me know who you guys have at your villages right now. And as always guys, this was Crafty, I'm out. Peace.